Today we're going to talk about different E-Track fittings. Once you've decided on the type of E-Track, the finish on it, uh, the layout of it, and have it all fastened to the trailer, the next decision is what style E-Track fitting you're going to use. The first fitting we're going to talk about is the heavy duty tie down without o-ring. All the e-track fittings have uh, a heavy duty or lighter duty spring load fitting. That's the heavy duty. The lighter duty has just the single bar. The heavy duty one without the o-ring is perfect for S-hooks. So for your motorcycle straps, ATV, anything like that equipment you're going to tie down, with one inch webbing with an S-hook, uh, the S-hooks fit perfectly into that fitting. The second fitting we're gonna talk about is just a standard E-Track fitting. It has a slot for webbing to pass through. Uh, this one, the main uses are gonna be if you're making a custom strap, you wanna purchase the E-Track fitting, run your strap through it, uh, and sew it the way you like uh, to a custom length. The other way would be with an endless either ratchet or cam buckle strap. Uh, you can put one of these on either side of the trailer, run your endless through there, and go ahead and tighten down that way. The next fittings we're going to talk about are the round ring E-Track fittings. One is regular duty with a brake strength of 4,000 pounds. The other is a heavy duty with a brake strength of 6,000 pounds. Either of these rings are ideal for uh, vinyl S-hooks or flat snap hooks or twisted snap hooks. Uh, you can also use them for rope tie downs. This also comes in a D-ring configuration for your convenience. The next E-Track fitting we're gonna discuss is the roller idler pulley. Uh, this you can get all different kinds of angles on. It's very adjustable. It's typically used when you're going to use more than two points of contact with your cargo restraint system. Uh, typically with a wheel strap, you're going to put one fitting in front of the tire or behind the tire, go over the tire to an idler pulley, and then off to your ratchet where it's going to be attached for the third point. The next two fittings are E-Track rope tie-offs. One is a regular duty, one is a heavy duty. Again, the regular duty is rated at a 4,000 pound brake strength. The heavy duty is rated at a 6,000 pound brake strength. Also notice the orientation to the terminal ring. This one will run parallel to the E-Track and this one runs perpendicular. So if your concern is to keep your cargo straps flat and flush, uh, these are two considerations to take in mind. The next fitting is a wood end socket. It's an economical alternative to shoring beams. Um, also, if you need custom lengths that shoring beams don't come in. Uh, simply place the wood end into the socket and you can through bolt or use wood screws to attach. 